Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sublimating on um, socks. I ordered from Silky Socks, so this is the first time that I'm trying them out. So I'm going to be trying out the Silky Socks brand today. I'm not going to do an unboxing. Um, I got excited and I opened the package already. So we're just going to sublimate on the socks. So if you've ever wanted to try out Silky Socks, you can watch this video and see how you like the brand. Um, today I am sublimating on their dress socks. Um, so these are going to be for me and I'm going to probably do a couple more tests a little later on. Um, the reason I got their socks is because um, one, my husband really likes different printed socks. Um, so I thought it would be fun to start making him socks at home so we can save a little bit of money. Um, and the other reason is that I have a children's boutique that I'm going to be adding kids socks too. So I wanted to, I just ordered a few just to test and see if, make sure that I like them. Um, and if I do, then I'll place, um, another order. Um, if you don't know, you can go to silky socks, silkysocks.com and sign up to be, um, to have a wholesale account. Um, and what it says on the website, they accept everyone. So if you go there and you um, sign up for wholesale, you actually get, um, I think, 50% off. So the socks are only about $2 per sock. So if you're planning on selling these, this is actually a very good price. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I have printed out what I want to put on the socks. You're going to need to do two prints, one for the front, one for the back. Um, this design is um, something that I printed myself um, on my Sawgrass SG-1000. Um, this graphic designer actually does not do, um, she doesn't make this print anymore. So I can't even link it down below for you guys because it's not even going to be, she's not bringing it back at all. So this is a print that I got, but it's a print that's no longer available. So I'm gonna sublimate on the socks. Um, I do recommend getting, Silky Socks makes um, sock jigs, but I did not purchase any. I do recommend doing that because I did just make some myself really quickly because I forgot to do that and they're not the right size, but I'm not selling these, so it's just kind of for testing purposes. But I do recommend that you get the jigs um, if you cannot make your own um, sock jigs at home. So, and then as you guys can see, the toe is black. And they have a black um, foot so that you don't have to worry about um, not sublimating on this because it's black. I have a 15 by 15 heat press, um, the A to Z um, from Stalls. Um, my socks are about um, 16, 17 inches, but because of the toe, it'll fit basically perfectly. So I just barely. I just barely made it with the whole sock. All right, so as always, as always, you're gonna want a lint roll to get all the lint. Okay, I'm gonna do a pre-press. Um, make sure all the moisture is out. Also check pressure. I think my pressure is a little too tight, so I'm going to loosen it a bit. Okay, now that I've gotten all the moisture out, I'm just going to go ahead and set this on top. You want your image to overlap your socks, so these take an 11 by 17 sheet. And then Silky Socks recommends that you leave this on for 400 degrees, 30 seconds. But you're gonna have to play around with your heat press settings to see what works best for you. So I'm gonna try about 35 seconds. Okay, so as you can see, the very toe did not sublimate. So, I 
may leave it or I may just go back in and cover this part. But other than that, it covered pretty well. First, actually what you want to do is you want to roll so that you don't have any blank spots. And that's the back. Now, I do have a little bit of white again. I think probably going forward, what I'm going to do is probably press the socks in two different parts so that I don't get that happening. But other than that, I mean, it actually covered pretty good. Okay, so I did go back in and put a little, uh, a little bit of color back in just so it wasn't there. Um, it's not a lot or it's not, it doesn't look the same and cohesive with the rest of the sock, but you're not gonna be able to notice because that's the toe part. But um, going forward, if I do socks this size, I'm probably just gonna do half and half, um, just so that I don't have this problem. And like I said, I also recommend the sock jigs instead of making your own. Um, I just cut out a couple pieces of cardboard just to do this video, but um, they do have sock jigs if you don't want to do that so this is how they turned out I think they turned out really nice um, it seems like the 30 second heat recommendation was actually um, it actually does work so I do recommend to do the the uh, 30 seconds and there are little white spaces in the print you probably might see that's actually in the design that's not um, a flaw in, in heat pressing the design. So this is how they turned out. Okay, so here's the socks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick one. Um, as I start doing more socks, I'll probably do more videos. Highly recommend Silky Socks. Um, I've watched several of their videos, um, which is why I decided to go ahead and purchase the socks. Um, so I highly recommend that you visit their site. I will link it down below. Um, if you're going to be selling these, like I said, make sure that you sign up for wholesale because then they're only $2 per sock and you can't beat that. I haven't found anywhere else that does, um, that has socks for sublimating. If you know any other places, feel free to comment down below and let me know if you like any other places. If you've tried Silky Socks and you love them, comment down below. Um, tell me about some of the other products that you've tried because this is the only one that I've tried so far. So, um... I did get some kid size tube socks. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, so I'll be trying sublimation on those as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for every time that I upload a new video. Um, goal is one per week at least. So um, that is it for today. And Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.